we have a new AI code editor in the market and that is cursor.so. Cursor is a chat GPT style artificial intelligence programming IDE and it combines natural language processing capabilities with traditional programming tools to create an interactive and intuitive coding experience. The tool looks quite good as you can see on your screen. The only thing which I feel a bit off-putting is that it's not completely free because it uses chat GPT behind the scene from OpenAI and you need the OpenAI key. Now if you have played around with OpenAI uh, based models like chat GPT you know that it can get costly quite soon and when I'm developing I'm checking different things I'm writing the code with this editor there will be a lot of iterations lot of changes which means a lot of API calls to the LLM hosted by OpenAI which means that the cost will keep piling up and if I'm building that software in a team environment where a lot of people are working on the on different issues then this cost could go out of hand pretty soon you can not only use their own cloud version but you can also self-host this thing and you would need to host it on you in your own environment there are a lot of examples on their website which you can go through and you can even ask it from here let me ask cursor what language is cursor support and press enter the speed is quite quite fine quite nice and as you can see it supports python javascript typescript java c++ c sharp ruby go and rust so almost all of the languages which you would find in today's environment and then um, you can simply migrate from vs code to this cursor very easily um, and then you can also keep your code local with, with the local mode this is very familiar you can chat with your project just like a lot of other um, AI based editors are doing these days and then um, the interface looks quite good to me where it is not only letting you edit the existing code but you can um, generate the code from scratch bug fixes and debugging seems also quite good and then um, there are some testimonials and stuff you can also try cursor for free you need to download it but still you would need to use your api key i believe anyway um if you go to the pricing pricing is fairly reasonable as you can see that 500 pass gpt4 uses per month but i'm not sure that how would this play out in a production environment where we have hundreds of developers using their code editor every day for hours and hours but still um, i would say that uh, this is quite good especially this option really um, makes it very appealing where you need where you can do the self-hosting this is what i was trying to talk about earlier and if you see the pricing for the self-hosting let me go there it's taking a bit of a time to load okay so you can use their pricing calculator and then maybe i will i will say 5000 and then i will say i'm going to use maybe um, cursor and then your estimate comes to 48 dollar per month in license cost and 600 dollar in model cost and 5000 is very very uh, on the lower side ap call so you can imagine the cost could be massive uh, for for this so i believe that instead of going with this um, GPT based models, they should try out some open source model to at least reduce the cost of model. Because as soon as you reduce the cost of the model, the rest of the cost is, cost is minimal. Like $48 per month is uh, for a enterprise is nothing. And even if you multiply it with 100, that should be, um, that should be good for a huge team. Anyway, still a good tool and I believe that they should, uh, they will be improving it as the time goes by i'm very keen to hear your thoughts about it uh, and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you